Making and receiving a call. Dialogue 1. Hello, can I speak to Mary, please? Hold on, please. Thank you. Hello, this is Mary. Who's that? Hi, Mary. This is Lily. I'm calling to ask you if you'd like to see the movie tonight. I'd be glad to. Well, I'm going to meet you outside the cinema at 8 p.m. It's a deal. Dialogue 2 Hello. Good morning, John. Hello. Who is that speaking? It's Jane. I'm so sorry that I made such an early phone call. It's nothing. What's wrong? Did you get my note? Yes, I just got it. I'll think it over and call you back. Fine. See you later. Goodbye. Asking for directions. Dialogue 1. Excuse me. Can you direct me to the toy department, please? It's on the seventh floor. As you get off the elevator, you'll see it on your left. Can you direct me to the elevator? Sure. Go straight ahead and you'll walk into it. Thank you. You're welcome. Dialogue 2 Excuse me. Could you please tell me how to get to the railway station? Turn left at the first light. Will it take me long to get there? No, it's not far at all. Do I need to take a bus? Well, it depends. You can walk there if you're not in a hurry. Otherwise, you can take a number 10 bus. Thank you. Don't mention it. Meeting new neighbor. Dialogue 1. Nice to meet you. I am Lisa, your new neighbor. Nice to meet you, too. I am David. Where are you from, Lisa? I am from China. China is a good place. How do you like America? I like it very much. It's a good place, too. Are you used to the life and the weather in America? Frankly speaking, not yet. No problem. It's a matter of time. Oh, how time flies. It's time for me to pick up my little girl. Thanks for your time. See you next time. See you. If you have any difficulty, please don't hesitate to let me know. Dialogue 2 Nice to meet you. I am your new neighbor. Nice to meet you. Your face looks familiar to me. Let me see. Oh, you are Kate, the youngest daughter of Green. Yes, I am. May I have your name? My name is Jack Chen. Oh, you are the best friend of my father? Exactly. I have heard a lot about you. I hope it's not the bad things about me. How is your father? He is so fine. Send my best wishes to him. Thank you very much. Meeting accidentally. Dialogue 1 Jack. Is this Jack, isn't it? Well, well, John. Fancy meeting you here. Small world, isn't it? Yes. What are you doing here? On business? I'm here on holiday with my wife. And you? So am I. Only yourself? No. The whole family, they are over there. Dialogue 2 I can't imagine meeting you here. Me too. So, how's the family? Oh, you didn't know. My parents got divorced. They got divorced? Yeah, my dad's shacking up with a young woman. She's almost 20 years younger than him. She's just a little older than me. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear this news. I know, it's ugly.
Greeting familiar face. Dialogue 1 Hi, long time no see. You haven't been sick, have you? No, I've been in America for the past month. How nice. Where were you exactly? L.A. I got back yesterday. Have you changed jobs? No, I've been visiting some relatives there. That's nice. What are you going about now? Nothing much. Same as ever. Dialogue 2 Hello, Kate. Overtime again, are you? Yes, I've got to if I want to get a pay raise. How are things going? Everything is all right? Yes, not too bad, thanks. And you? I'm doing good, thank you. How's Jack? Oh, he's all right, but busy as usual. Maybe we could have it together sometime. Sounds like a great idea. You are the boss. Okay, I'll call you. Chatting up others. Dialogue 1. Nice day, isn't it? Yes, very good. What's the weather like in London? Just now, it's like in London, warm and sunny. Does it usually rain a lot in London? I suppose so. We get a lot of rain, but we also get good weather. Beijing can be very hot in summer. I prefer autumn. Yes, I like autumn and spring, too. Dialogue 2 Hi, may I have the pleasure of buying you a drink? Okay, thank you. How do you like vodka? I'm afraid it's too strong for me. Then I suggest you have a taste of Shanghai cocktail. That's a good idea. There is a floor show in our lobby bar. Would you like to see it? Sure, let's go. Introducing others. Dialogue 1 Jack, have you met Lisa? No, I haven't. Oh, then let me introduce you to her right now. Lisa, this is my friend Jack. Nice to see you, Jack. How do you do, Miss Lisa? Glad to meet you, too. I've spoken with you on the phone. Yes, I remember. Dialogue 2 I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Mike. Mike, this is Mr. Smith. Hello, Mike. Nice to meet you. This is my wife. Nice to meet you, sir. And a pleasure to meet you, too, Mrs. Smith. Thank you. It's nice to meet your acquaintance. Have we met before? No, I don't think so. Self-introduction Dialogue 1 Can I help you? Yes, I've come to apply for the position as an office secretary. I'm Smith, the clerk of Human Resources Department. What's your name? My name is Wang Fang. Mr. Smith, how do you do? Nice to meet you, Miss Wang. We have received your letter in answer to our advertisement. I would like to talk with you regarding your qualification for this interview. I'm very happy that I am qualified for this interview. Now, talk something about yourself, please. Well, my name is Wang Fang. W-A-N-G. Wang and F-A-N-G, Fang. I was born on May 17, 1982. Dialogue 2 I believe you're Mr. Smith, aren't you? Yes, I am. How do you do? My name is Jack. I'm glad to be here. How do you do, Jack? It's nice to meet you. May I introduce myself? My name is Alice. How do you do, Miss Alice? I'm glad to meet you. How do you do? It's my pleasure to meet you. Same here. Complimenting others. Dialogue 1. 
Good morning, John. Jogging again? Yeah. Would you like to join me? Okay. Hey, look, what a beautiful sweater you have. Do you think it looks good on me? Yes, it goes beautifully with your pants. You won't believe it, but it is really cheap. I wish I could find one just like it. You look young for your age. You're the only one who has said that. Dialogue 2 I like your new coat. Do you think it fits me? Yes, it looks terrific. You look nice. I bought it at half price. You are a good bargainer. I like the color of your tie, too. Thanks. You flatter me. It wasn't very expensive, either. That's amazing. It sure looks expensive. You have made a good choice. Thank you for saying so. Refusing Others Dialogue 1 Can I see your parents sometime tomorrow? Sorry, they are too busy these days. How about this weekend? Sorry, but that's taken too. When would they be free? Well, I'd rather not if you don't mind. Dialogue 2 What do you plan to do on Sunday morning? Nothing special. How about going to English Corner with me? I don't want to go, and that's that. Why not go with me? You know, I'm poor at English, especially oral English. That's why you should go there. If you don't dare to speak English owing to being afraid of making mistakes, you simply will never master English. Festival Greetings Dialogue 1 Merry Christmas! The same to you! Are you doing anything special? We're having some friends over in the evening. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just going to take it easy. That's a good idea. Let's sing. Okay, what is your favorite Christmas song? Do you mean Christmas Carol? Yep, my favorite one is Jingle Bells. I hate Jingle Bells. I prefer the Little Drummer Boy song. But that's not really a Christmas carol. Dialogue 2 Have a nice Thanksgiving. The same to you. Are you going anywhere? I thought about going to my sister's. Good. The holiday is a time of family reunion. How about you? Oh, I'll probably just stay at home. Enjoy yourself. You too. Have a mid-full Thanksgiving. Borrowing Money and Things Dialogue 1 Will you do me a favor? What can I do for you? Would you mind if I borrowed your car? Well, when exactly? Next weekend. I'm sorry, but it wouldn't be possible. Monday or Tuesday of next week? Yes, I guess that would be all right. Dialogue 2 Why are you still here? I fetch my wallet. But I don't know where it is. Take it easy. In your memory, where did you see it last time? Maybe I forgot it at home. Could you lend me 100 yuan? I need to go home by taxi. Of course. Is that enough? Yes, that's very kind of you. Don't mention it. I have something urgent and I have to go in a hurry. Mind how you go. I will. Offering Help Dialogue 1 Good morning. I wonder if you could help me. Certainly, sir. What can I do for you? I need to send a fax and use the internet. Sorry, sir. Would you repeat that? 
Yes, I need to send a fax and use the internet. Ah, you can do that in our business center. It's on the second floor. Thanks. Is it open now? Yes, it is. Dialogue 2 You look worried. What's the problem? The copy machine doesn't work, and my printer is broken either. What a pity. Is there anything I can do for you? Can you print it for me? Of course, no problem. How many do you need? Ten copies. Okay, just five minutes. Thank you very much for helping me. Don't mention it. Making an apology. Dialogue 1. I'm terribly sorry. I really shouldn't say those words yesterday. You don't have to apologize. I don't know why I lost my temper and said so many stupid things. It was my mistake in the first place. I hope you'll forgive me for the mistake. Even if it was your mistake, I shouldn't have behaved like that. Please don't. I'll be more focused from now on. So you won't take offense at what I said yesterday? Actually, I never did. Dialogue 2 Hey, Bob, I know you will come. Is everything all right? I'm sorry I don't have the videotape ready. That's okay. I won't need it until next Friday. I'm sorry you have to make another trip. Really, that is fine. If you can have it by next Thursday, everything will be good. I think everything is going to turn out really good. I hope you will be really pleased with the final tape. Yes, I'm sure I will be. Thanks for your help. Expressing thanks. Dialogue 1. Will it work again? Yes, just have a try. I really don't know how to thank you. I'm glad I was able to help. It's very kind of you. Don't mention it. It was the least I could do. If there's ever anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I will. Dialogue 2 I got the job you recommended me last week. That's great. Congratulations. I really don't know how I can thank you enough. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all, you are very qualified for the position. Thank you very much indeed. You helped me rebuild my self confidence. Don't mention it. You've always been good. What do you say we go out to celebrate? That would be great. Saying goodbye. Dialogue 1. I'd like to say goodbye to everyone. When are you off? I'm flying home on Sunday afternoon. Well, goodbye. See you soon. Please don't forget to say goodbye to the rest of the family for me. Thanks, and say hello to your family. Dialogue 2 I just dropped in to say goodbye. What time are you leaving? I'm going to try to leave by 10. Take care and give my best wishes to your parents. I will. Hope to see you again next year. Don't forget to call us if you're in London. I will. Goodbye. Not getting the person. Dialogue 1. Hello, 332440. Oh, hello, Sally. This is Will here. Could I speak to Jim, please? I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. He went out about an hour ago and he's not back yet. Any idea when he might be back? Well, he shouldn't be long. He said he was just going to get some paint. But I wouldn't be surprised if he stopped off at the pub on the way back. Well, I'll try again later. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Dialogue 2. Hello? Hello, is this 4474716? I'd like to speak to Mr. Wong, please. I'm sorry, Mr. Wong is out right now. May I know when he'll be back? I don't know, but he will certainly be back for lunch. Can I take a message for him? Thank you. Please tell him to be at the airport one hour earlier before the departure time tomorrow afternoon. Very good. I'll let him know as soon as he comes back. But may I have your name, please? This is Lin Ming. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Putting the call through. Dialogue 1. Hello, Dodge Automobiles. How may I direct your call? Could I have extension 239, please? Well, please hold on. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry the number's engaged. Would you care to wait, please? For how long? In a minute or two. Dialogue 2 Hello. I'd like the extension 4130, please. Sorry, the number is busy now. Will you please hold the line? No, I'll try again later. Good luck. Hello, extension 4130. Would you put me through again, please? Okay, the line is free. Just a moment. Well, it's ringing. Go ahead, please. Ending the call. Dialogue 1. Hello, I wish to speak to Linda. This is Linda speaking. This is Mary. Mary, I recognized your voice right away. I'm glad you called me. Linda, listen, um, I'm calling to ask you some questions about Jim. You know him, don't you? Sure, why are you asking about him? Well, I want to get a part-time job at his store. Oh, well, Jim's a nice guy. I mean, he'll give you decent hours, a decent wage, and plenty of breaks. Well, I suppose so, but... Oh, somebody's at the door. I'll call you back later. Bye-bye. Dialogue 2 That's a terrific story. Oh, sorry, Mary. I'd better go now. Is the boss coming by? Yeah, and I have to finish this report by three. Can we continue after that? Sorry, I'm afraid I can't talk long. I will have to go to a meeting after three. Okay, I'll let you get back to your work. I'll call you again later, okay? Okay, let's call it a day and we will continue tomorrow. Visiting someone in the hospital. Dialogue 1 Hi, May. I'm coming. I didn't see you at work this morning. Are you all right? Oh, I've got a bad cold. My head is dizzy and my nose is running. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Have you seen a doctor or taken any medicine? As a matter of fact, I have. The doctor said it'll go away after a day or two. He's prescribed me some tablets. Are you feeling better? Yes, it helps me, but I just have to wait and let my system do the work. Do you need anything? Grocery? Oh no, I'm fine. My refrigerator is piled up with food. But if it's not too much trouble for you, I'd like something to read. Sure, I'll get it for you. Books or magazines? I'd like both. Dialogue 2 Hello, Ms. Brown. I hope you're feeling better today. Oh, yes. Thank you. I'm feeling much better now. I think the fever's almost gone. That's good. And you're looking well. By the way, how do you find the hospital here? Both the doctors and nurses are very nice. Good to know that. Are you allowed to have some fruit? I've brought you some oranges. 
That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Is there anything I can do for you? No, I don't think so. Thank you. All right. I'd better not stay too long. You need more rest. I'll come again tomorrow. Please don't. I'm much better now. I know you are very busy. If you need anything, please let me know. I will. Thank you for coming and for the oranges, too. Don't mention it. Goodbye and take care of yourself. Bye bye. Paying a private visit. Dialogue one. Hi, Bill. I'm so glad to see you. How are you doing? Fine. I miss you so much, Uncle Jim. Me too. We haven't seen each other for years, have we? Yes, it's been three years now. How time flies. Now you are a young man out of a little boy. How's Aunt Deborah? Couldn't be better. How are your parents doing? Not bad. They plan to visit you next year. Really? I'll be so excited to see them. Make yourself at home. Let me make some tea for you. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Jim. Dialogue two. Coming. Hello, I'm Mrs. Chen. This is my husband. We moved into this neighborhood last week. Nice to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Chen. Come in, please. Have a seat. Would you like some coffee? No, thanks. We'll just stay for a minute. Well, what can I do for you then? We're having a party this Friday evening at our place, and we'd like you and your family to join us. Oh, I'd like to. But I'm not sure about my husband's schedule. He always works overtime. The party will begin at 5:30 p.m. and will probably last for three or four hours. Why don't you give me your telephone number? I'll call you tomorrow and let you know. Please do. This is our phone number. We live just across the street. Do you need any help preparing for the party, Mrs. Chen? I'm free every afternoon. That's very nice of you, but won't it be too troublesome for you? No, no trouble at all. What time is good? How about 4 p.m.? I'll be there. Treating someone at home. Dialogue one. Are you the guest to join the garden party? Yes, I'm from Los Angeles. The reception desk is in the best view of Building Two. Let me check your things for you. Thank you. Does the party begin at ten o'clock? Yes, sir. You still have forty minutes to prepare something else. The garden here is beautiful and ancient. Yes, and it is well kept too. It really has a charm of its own. A party in the open gives a greater sense of freedom than one held in the room. I wish you a good time. Thanks a lot. Dialogue two. Everything is ready. Please come to the dining room. Wow, what a marvelous table you've got here! I've long heard Chinese dishes are well known all over the world for their color, aroma, and taste. I hope you like my cooking. I think you are not only a good teacher but also a good cook. Thanks for the compliment. Let's begin with chicken, which will bring luck to the guests, according to Chinese table culture. It sounds interesting. Now that I'll eat more. Please help yourself to it. Thanks. I like fried kidney best among Chinese food. Have a try of it. Well, really unusual. The fried kidney is quite tender and delicious. Birthday party. Dialogue one. Happy birthday, Alice! Many happy returns of the day. Here's a present for you. Thank you, Peter. Come into the dining room. I'm going to cut the cake soon. Have some sandwiches. Thanks. Who's that girl? That's Joan. She's pretty, isn't she? 
She likes to dance. Ask her to dance. Well, I don't know. Don't be afraid. She isn't going to bite you. Who's afraid? I'm not at all. Would you invite her to dance with you? Just a piece of cake. Dialogue 2. Look, someone is celebrating his birthday. Yeah, in America, 21 is the age when you're allowed to drink. So many guys celebrate it in bars. What did you do to celebrate your birthday in China? Nowadays, it's no difference from America. You can see many birthday parties, but in old times, we have traditional ways to celebrate it. Oh, really? Anything special? We cook long lived noodles. And for aged people, We prepare longevity peaches for blessing. Wow, longevity peaches? What's that? They are made of wheat flour and they look like real peaches.